Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Well, look at Apple here, folks. Everybody that bought it on the first day has still got a big loss. That was 173 million shares. I think it was the fourth largest ever. And everybody that bought it there, even though it was higher earlier today, it backed off. It probably went to exactly, probably made it perfect garly would be my guess. Oh, my gosh, what does it look like to you, folks? There's the market right here. And there's our high that we made back here on last Friday. And then we had this big ABCD forming right here. And right up there it is, uh, right on the old money here, making a new high. There's your ABCD right at the high of the day. And it's already backed off uh, three points. Now, let's take a look at Tesla. Uh, just get this up here. Uh, one of these days, uh, folks are going to realize that, whoa, that's not right. Get up here. Tesla starts with a T. Let's see. Here's where we go. There's where we are with Tesla. Open it up. And it's, see, folks, it's heading down to where it should be going. And that's exactly what we thought it would be doing, breaking down. And we're going to get down here to 164. And we're going to find out that's going to be a Gartley, folks. That's a, that's a, uh, the first ABCD after the bottom. Okay. So you've got a whole bunch of gaps, which is not unusual, but this is really important. Because if we don't hold that, and if we, well, let's just draw it in so we can see it. If we don't hold that, then there's trouble in River City, and that's uh, either, either here or there. Now, that takes care of that. Now, let's take a look at the overall market. We've already looked at the Dow Jones. Now, we're going to look at the, uh, the Big Daddy Rabbit, which is the S&P 500. And, of course, we exploded way above the old area. I was looking at it, 5194. We're trading at 243. Here's today's date. Oh, what's happening? I've lost data. Don't do this to me, please. Hold on one second. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm out of. Well, I'm going to have to. Uh, boy, this. Uh, I've lost data, folks. You see why it's not changing over here? So that means I've lost data. And so what I have to do, you're going to have to bear with me a second. I've got to uh, reboot this puppy. And give me a second. It'll only take a little bit. And I'll get it up here running, hopefully. And you'll be able to see everything that I'm seeing here. And that takes care of that. And we get up here, get the prices back. And then we should be OC. Sorry for the delay, but that's... Uh, one of the bad parts of being a, a non-techie, folks. I don't know what happened to the data. I was running good all during the hour we were doing the trading, but uh, son of a gun, it just didn't uh, didn't turn out that way. Okay, let's get up here, get the uh, sheet out that I'm looking at. Here's the E-mini over here. Wow, it dropped. Did drop six points <laughs> from where I thought it was uh, where I thought it was going to be here. Hold on one second. Okay, just a second here. Here's where we are in the S&P. We've had a, a big move up. Let's just draw the daily in first, okay? Now, we, we exploded, folks. We did get to the 78% level today. That was up in here, just like we hit the we Dow Jones made it. This made it, and then it did. Now, this was the trade that we were looking at this morning before the market opened. I think it's still marked in here. Yep, there it is right here. Get it out of the way. We were trying to sell this ABCD right here. There's a nice little ABCD right there. So that was our first trade that we were looking to sell. And that came up here at uh, 5265. We got to 5264. It didn't fill. And then the market came down and stopped right at the 382. Right on the old money. And then we sold the Dow Jones when that did that. And that gave us our two nice profits 
Uh, we made over 100 and some 150 points in the Dow Jones on the way down. So that was uh, that was really good. Now look what's happened. Uh, might as well learn a little bit as we're going along here. This market has actually turned bearish for the first time in a long time. <laughs> I mean bearish. <laughs> it's got to be a joke, right, Larry? Okay, there it is right here. We just made a 382 retracement just now up there at 43. Now, this is important if you're day trading because you just made a perfect 382. You've already backed off six points. So that tells us this is a negative market possibly for the last three hours of the day. So you, all you do now is you have your ABCD pattern right here. You've got a profit in it. You put your stop just you know right above this by two points. You're only going to risk $100. You're already up 400 so that's not a that's not a bad trading idea, is it? So let's uh, remind ourselves. Now this is one that we had when we were leaving the group. We said watch for a retracement here. Same thing in the Dow Jones, like we had in the S and P. That one came in at 36, 62 is where it came in. Right there is where we were looking for it. Got a little bit higher, and now it's lower. So those are the things we were doing intraday, but uh, that's led us to a pretty good. Uh, Pretty good move. Uh, the one we liked the best, of course, was the soybean oil. We missed that, but it's going to give us plenty of time to do it. But the uh, and the rest of them did pretty good. We we every order we had was placed placed in the correct direction of the market. That the problem was is that we didn't always get the price that we wanted. We missed it by a tick or two, and there was nothing else, of course, we could do. Uh, do about it, but the the best trade of the day. Well, I've already mentioned the best trade of the day, which would have been the the, the silver trade, which was a very interesting one too, as they're all interesting. By the way, uh, we, our more our guest today, Mike Moore, will not be able to be with us today. He had something else that uh, was more important. How could anything be more important than being on TFNN? Are you kidding me? No, he had some family things that uh, take press. That family comes first, folks. In all things, health first, then family. <clears throat> and there's our there's the silver trade. I wanted to show it to you here. Um, this had a huge move. In fact, I started the show. I wanted to I wanted to show the folks just to show you. This is how I started the show. Okay, I said, look, this is the one you wait for right here. This is an hourly chart on silver over the last few days. Right there, yesterday. Okay, we were right at the three eight two with a perfect A, B, C, D to the downside. And you can see we went up into this area right here. Now, since we got to that area, 2161, we said, well, the probability is that maybe silver has made some type of a top up in here. And so what we did is we moved to a smaller time frame. The trading gods were in our favor, and it worked out okay. Let me show you what we did just so you get an idea. If you want to come in the next time, you can enjoy what we're doing. And here's where we are. Uh, there's the silver, and all we're going to do now is go down to a smaller time frame, 13 minutes. There was a 382 right here. That was the one we were looking to do. The problem was we missed it by a heartbeat, and uh, it had a huge move to the downside. So that's what we were paying attention to here so far today. We also had a possibility here with the new uh, structure coming in. The new 382 on this, this high to this low, came in exactly right here at the 5450 level and we're down a little bit from that level we're going to take a break here so live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may god bless but don't be gone long we'll be right back Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, Education. Investors. 
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, this is the Russell 2000. As you can see here, we did make new highs today, but it was the only one of the four that didn't make the 78% level. We made it in the S&P, the NASDAQ, and also um, the uh, Dow Jones, but we did not make it in the Russell. And if you went down on an hourly chart and looked at this, looked at real closely, which we like to try to do, you notice that you had a three drive pattern here. And it was at the 1.618 expansion of the last move right there at 2095. Had you done that one, it had 30 handles. And I didn't see this, folks, because we, we were focusing on the Dow Jones and the S&P. And I let, the, I let this get away. That, that's a toughie because that, that's really got some good symmetry here. You got from high to high to high. Uh, you just want to just draw it in. You'll be able to see it without too much trouble, I believe. But that's it right there. That is a three drive. If you blow it up, you can see it pretty easily. And there's the number here, 2093, 2095 was a high. And look at this. We're almost ready to take out the lows that we made uh, uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, that would not be a, there's a Wednesday, th yeah, this, you wouldn't want that to happen. That'd be really a. Uh, Big, it's been a big sell-off here. I mean, really, this is this actually is stronger down move than this one because it is had no bounce. At least you had a tiny bit of a bounce in here. This had nothing. This is telling you that something big has happened there. So, got to pay a little attention to that. That's a very interesting one to watch. Okay, now let's take a quick look at the Nasdaq, as folks want to always take a look at that one too. Don't want to leave it alone. And we'll get up here, and the NASDAQ is right here. And we'll put the daily up on that. And you can see we hit almost to the exact tick, the 78% level right here. We missed it by, uh, oh my goodness, how much did we miss it by? 10 points. And now we're down 100 and some from that level. If we go down to the uh, hourly chart, we'll see where we were. This is where we're watching here to see if we were going to complete. We were several that we were watching, but we expected the market to at least make an expansion of this move here from there to there, 1.27. The reason why, well, we did. We went actually above it. We almost hit the 618, but we were thinking that because this is an ABCD pattern that was here, to draw this in, very, very high uh, screwing on it. I mean, it's a screw. Uh, 
what do you call it, screening on it, it went quite a bit above that level. So uh, that's what that did. And now it broke down, and I think just a, just a second ago, this is an hourly chart. Let's just go down to an 8-minute or 13-minute, and we'll see if it made an A, B, C, D right at the 3A2, and it did. That's, this is starting to show up as a very important day. Now, there's your – eight. let's just draw it in. I just saw this, son of a gun. A, I, I wouldn't be trading this one anyway. I'd be trading the S&P, which it just did the 3A2. <laughs> there it is right there, your A, B, C, D right at the 3A2 coming off of the 786 with uh, two and a half hours to go. Three, yeah, two and a half hours to go in the market. It'd be very uh, – close at 1 o'clock, yeah. Two and a half hours. Yeah. Okay. So as long as we don't get above this, looks like we're going to be heading down. This could be some type of a topping day. Believe me, folks. After that explosive move that we've seen in that puppy today, or yes, the last two days, boy, they were really a lot of buying coming into the market. Okay. Now, someone asked me to take a look at uh, another stock here. That is in the news, and that is Goldman Sachs. That they had the highest profit in trading in 18 years. I thought I heard them say. This is the daily chart. Look at this thing, folks. Let's just take a look at the weekly, and you're going to be able to see what you're seeing here. There's where we should have topped, right back in here. And we backed off from 420 down to 380, and then look what's happened. Boom. Just a big explosive move to the upside on big earnings. And when this is uh, this is in the Dow, when you got a $454 stock in the Dow Jones because it's price-weighted, not cap-weighted, that's where you are. So where do you think we're going to go? Well, if you don't go back and look, there's a chance we could make it uh, way, way up here. But my guess is, and this is just my guess, I think we'll probably make a 1.27 expansion of the whole move from 2022. You draw that in right there. There was your low. Your 1.27 number comes in just a tad from where we are right now, about 10 points. So I'd be watching that very very closely now look at this this stock since november that was our remember the november 27th 28th bottom this stock has gone from 288 to 450 without a correction there's nothing in here there's your first little correction and that's nothing 420 uh down to here that's a 20 dollars. that's not a 382 that's not anything you know it, it misses the 382 by you know <laughs> Twenty dollars, <laughs> more than that, yeah, thirty dollars. So this is that's why it's so bullish and how high it's going to go. The only two places it can stop is either four four sixty four. Oh, very important here. We've got that. We've got ah. Now we know where we're going. Hold on just a minute. As I look at this, I see more. There you go. From your low to your high, your one two seven comes in right here, and then you've got your expansion number from right here. So you've got to do that one too. So you take the expansion number from this leg right here, and that takes you right there. There's your 1.618 expansion today, and then you have to do this one from this high to this low to tell you where the expansion numbers are. There's your top coming in right now. You got one, two, two majors right here and one right behind it. So, boy, I, I wouldn't want to be long. Wouldn't want to be long Goldman Sachs right here, boys and girls. I really wouldn't. But uh, that's the way I look at things, and sometimes they work, sometimes they want, they don't. Okay, now let's take a look at the euro. Let's get rid of this dollar. We don't have to worry about this anymore. And uh, this keeps dropping. Hold on just a second here. And 54, uh, hold on a second. I want to see where we are with some of these others. Hold on. Uh, just give me a break here. Um, all right, hold on just one second here. I've got to get this chart up, and then we can talk about it. It's the euro. I want to talk about a couple of currencies here because they're having some fun. Here's the dollar yen. I believe that dollar yen is getting ready. This is the big one. Okay, we had the big move here. This is your this is your chance for redemption, folks, if you want to get into this one. Here's where we are in the daily. Now, we had the big move. We came right down to some major support right there at the 382 off the bottom. Okay, now we've had a rally. One, two, three, four, five days we're rallying. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a 60-minute picture of this. And guess where we're coming? See, we just missed that target on the downside by heartbeat. But here's where we are. We've got to clean all this out and see where we are. From the high, 
I bet you we're sitting right at the 61 is my guess. Nope, we're sitting at the old 50% of that one and 61% of that one right in here right now. And we've been, ra we've been rallying for five days after a major top. This is in sell mode, folks, in my opinion. So we're looking at 155. I think you're going to see something below 150 on that. This high that we made, okay, this high that we made was a major, major, major high up there at 160. So, all right, let's take a break. 877-927-6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, I thought I'd bring this up. This is silver. Just hit a 382 of the range. Uh, this is all you be seller here stop above here but that's a that's an ideal trade it's been rallying for 
a little over two hours. Meeting took out the high uh, a half hour ago by just a little bit right at that point. So your risk is only about eight cents, and the profit objective would be uh, considerably lower if it does start to work. Okay, now let's get back up here. We're going to talk about the soybeans here. Hold on just a minute. We've got a caller coming in now. We got Rich Anderson on the line today about the report that we just had. Rich, how you doing, partner? I'm I'm, do, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Finally got a nice day here in Minnesota. Oh, it's above zero. <laughs> yeah, we've got a nice day. Are you looking? Are you yeah. looking forward to your two days of summer, July fifth and sixth? I know that's about what it's going to amount to. <laughs> what it's going to amount to. Just, uh, but but the uh, U.S. standard report came out at, at noon. Eastern time, and and you can see that the that the traders were kind of hoping for something a little bit more negative, and of course they, that wasn't delivered. And mm -hmm. on top of that, you've got three of the Russian areas have been declared state of emergencies, and that where they grow major amounts of the wheat. And Russia is the largest wheat exporter in the world, so that's a big deal if their wheat crop is down. Russia the is the largest. Really, I didn't know the Russia. I thought we beat the beat Russia in wheat. We don't. No, the, Russia is the biggest wow. export of wheat. Now, part of that wow. is they've been trying to, you know, generate income, uh, and they've been offering wheat at very attractive prices to keep it low so that the Ukraine doesn't make any money. I mean, there's a bunch of reasons, but but then in the, you know, I mean, we and we have large short positions in the market in the corn and beans and. So they, you know, the bears need a little help, and they they weren't getting it. And uh, the long-range weather forecast has the La Nina, which would be hotter and drier this summer, as a 70% probability July through September. So that's kind of an interesting thing. The Brazilian uh, Safrina corn crop has been hot and dry. And the other part of Brazil, where the beans are, the Rio Grande do Sul, has had floods. You know, Brazil's a very huge country, kind of like ours, very long and lots of growing areas. And the, the wow. third thing is the difference between the USDA's estimates of the Argentine crop and what the Rosario Grain Exchange's estimates are. And eventually, one is going to have to either the USDA is going to have to come down to where the Argentinians are. And, you know, you would assume that they might know more about their crop than we do, but well, we shall see. The, mm -hmm. the negative part is that the bears are still hoping that in the next crop report where they show the acreage, that the farmers might have decided to plant more acres of corn, um, you know. So that's that's the analog year that we're looking at right now is 2019. And in the 2019, we had several wild swings. The market firmed up into June, and then dropped like a rock, and then and then rallied again. So there, there's some interesting fundamentals that are kind of come in. But uh, the key thing is that the the funds they have a pretty good length of shorts. And they're going to have to be taking some of those in. And then all these Russian, with the Russian exports out of the picture, all these guys that normally would countries, not guys, but the countries that would buy from Russia are going to have to start to look other places. And, and that's what keeps the market firm. Well, there's a lot of things to think about, Rich, and you do it all. I don't know how you do it, but you did a great job alerting us to the fact that they were expecting – something uh, a little more positive and yet it did do exactly what they thought it would do so that's a good sign uh i really well, believe I mean, you three weeks ago you you did an, an fibonacci expansion and had a target in the deep corn over you know i think in my recollection it was just over five dollars and i told you that looked yeah. good to me Oh, yeah, that I was know. Way back I, when. I, yes, we, <laughs> we were trying to buy corn this morning we missed it by about four cents but um the others are doing okay. The beans are doing okay. But listen, I want to thank you for being on our show today. I certainly appreciate you know the contact we've had over the last forty years. Can you believe I've known you forty years, Rich? In fact, it's a little more than I know. forty. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, well, it's been fun, buddy. Listen, thank you very much, and keep that uh, good information coming to us because we could use all we can get from you because you really know what you're doing. Well, the next report comes, I'll try and give you a heads up of what the uh, guys are thinking about there, too. Okay, thank you very much. Rich Anderson of Anderson Capital Management out of Minnesota. Here, we'll take a look here at what's happened to the uh, corn, uh, the soybeans today. Now, uh, here was the uh, 382. We were buyers there. There was the re move after the report. Now, all this market has done so far, and that is from the high down to the low, 
has come up and stopped exactly at a 382 retracement. Now, this could be a bearish phenomenon, or if it gets above here, it'll be bullish. So what we're doing now is if you bought it there, your risk is going to be only three cents. So you're basically in a free trade, or you could have, you could have booked $500 if you wanted to right there. But this is just a small, small trade. Now we're down, we're down three days. So my assumption is this is a three-day correction. Let's just get this on the hourly because this was very important to us from a lot of different standpoints. Let's just move this over. You remember we talked yesterday the fact that Beans have a tendency to repeat over and over again what they do. Now, we had a move like this. You can see we had a move here, we had a move here, and we had a move there. It went almost exactly the same. So you got three things to tell you that that's a pretty good correction. Now, this one took a long time. This one took a long time. This took a shorter time. Why? Because the market is more bullish now. So this is a very bullish sign as long as we don't get below here. If we get below here... Yeah, we could go a little bit lower, maybe down into here, but still it's beginning to turn in these markets, and that's what's in, that's what's really exciting. If we look at the wheat market, the wheat market doesn't need any help, as Rich was just talking about, because it looks like they got Putin trapped again, which is what a wonderful thing that could be. Here's a 60-minute, but look at the daily chart here on the wheat, folks. And you'll remember this because we were very bullish and stuff. Look, we've we've made new highs again today. We've gone up to uh, 592. Uh, that's really close to the ABCD, which means uh, we're, we might get a little bit of a sell-off here because we're very close to that. See, that's – oh, that's very interesting because, look, oh, that's drawn wrong. Sorry, 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 sorry. There's your low right here. There's your high. It's way up here. So we've got to take this out. You've got to take this number here out, 567, 576. So up about another 20 cents going to have to take a look at maybe taking some profits in the wheat market but uh, remember Putin was short all down in here and you can see what happened to him since uh, April it's uh, had a heck of a run here and now they're having some uh, crop problems but they didn't know about that at the time so there's our, our there's your uh, what we think is going to be your uh, ultimate target here for this particular move uh, on the on the July wheat. Okay, I think we've got a break coming up here, if I'm not mistaken, in 32 seconds, and it's coming right now. Listen, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. 
Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we just hit our uh, sell signal part of the silver here at uh, 28.54, down about three cents. I would risk more than, uh, let's see, 54. I'd put the stop at 50. Uh, 54, 57, I put it at 57. I wouldn't even risk more than three cents. So I'd put a buy stop at 28.57 on that. Now, if we look at this on a little bit bigger time frame here, excuse me, I'm going to spread it out a little bit from your high here. The low, you also had the exact 61% retracement. So both numbers came in right at the right spot. Right now, it's got uh, 200 bucks profit. So put your stop at break even. And don't uh, don't even worry about it. That's what I would do. So I, I actually, you got to you got to give it a little bit of room because it's only 52. I would put a stop at 57. So you're risking three cents is all you're going to risk. And that's the way we're looking at it. Okay. All right. Now someone asked a question about the Japanese yen again. Let me get this up here. Here's where we are on the Japanese yen. This is the hourly chart, daily chart. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to go down to the dial. Uh, the hourly chart. Here's the hourly. Okay, there's where we've been so far. Let's just clean it up so everybody can see it at the same time. All right, now we're, we're going to do our ABCD first, okay, because ABCD is where it be. Here is your first ABCD pattern coming in here. There's where it is, right here. There's your A leg right here. There's your B leg. There's your C leg. There's your D leg right there, okay? And you've got another one right behind it. Bada bing, bada boom. There it is right there. But you see it does not does not reach that level at all. Let me I'll get rid of this thing in a minute. In fact, I'm gonna do it right now. That's just the instant map that I don't use much. It works for some people, not for me. Okay, so this is the area that we were looking for. There's your large A B C D. There's a smaller A B C D, okay? So all we're gonna do now is after that occurred, we've had a rally, haven't we? We've had a rally now for seven days. Remember how bullish this used to be. Seven days used to be straight up, not straight up anymore. What we're doing now is making correction. You look at this. We're setting right at the old 50% right here of that move right here. And if you take the from May 1st, bring that one down right here, it's setting right at the 61 we're both both of them right in this zone right here so it could get up to here no question about it there's a possibility we could get there but right now we're at a we five six seven eight nine the five day rally okay well you see that when you look at it on the daily you'll see that very very simple you can just count the five days and that's where we are so i think this is where we are and i think there's a good possibility we'll be looking at something like this in the next in the foreseeable future getting way below 50 here and taking a look at it uh, from that level so i hope that uh, is a little bit of a help okay now someone asked me to take a look at google okay we'll get google up here 
They always ask for the same three stocks, Apple, Google, and Tesla. There must be other stocks in the world than them. I don't know. Let's use the 15-minute because I think this stock is ready to go lower. <laughs> it is going lower. Okay, here it is right now. Remember we had that monster monster day where we were all the way up to 80-something. Where is it? Uh, back here. Yeah, there's where we were back here on the uh, 25th of uh, – no, yeah, the 25th, uh, 26th of March. Okay, now we had the big move, monster volume, one of the biggest, one of the biggest ever. Okay, and then the market, everybody that bought it that day, ended up with a loss except for two days ago. They got back, some of them got back to being profit. So you fill that gap in here, and this is where we are now. We're pulling down. Now I'm just looking at this on the hourly basis because I want to see what it did. You see, all it did after that high was in is to make a just a little above the 382 and below the 382 already. All we did was make a 50%. There, there it is right there. It just misses it by a heartbeat. And this is the most bullish stock of all of them. I mean, this thing is really close to the high. Well, Meta. Someone asked about Meta. I might as well. Not Meta. What's the other one? It starts with an M. Microsoft. Here's Microsoft. Get this up on the daily. This, too, was not looking that good on a longer-term basis. Yeah, all we've been able to do so far in Microsoft is we had all that action. Everybody that bought it in here had a loss. Now some of them are back to profit. And we did make a – did we take out the previous day's high from here, 1467? Yeah. Yep, we took it out by just a heartbeat right here. And that's where we are, right at the 61% retracement, just a little above it right now. So very interesting times we live in, as the old Chinese curse says. we got three minutes to go. We're going to take a look at two currencies uh, – three currencies. First is the British pound. Let's get it up here, right here. Here is the British pound. Keep those cards and letters coming in, folks. We need those here. Hold on. Okay, here's where we are. Now, we've had a little bit of a rally today. Not much going on. Bouncing around between these numbers. Let's just clean it up and see what's happened over the last few days. So there's where we are. Now, what we want to do is we can see something that looks very similar to a 382 retracement as we're speaking right now maybe a little bit more we are definitely in a downtrend in the british pound folks you don't have to you don't have to worry about that there's your a b c d to the downside a b c d to the downside there's your first retracement here's your second one we're going to go down to the hourly chart to look at it a little closer and there it is right now, what we're looking at. Let's just clean it up and see where we are. Looks like we're real close to an old, you know what? Oh, no, that's 50%. I can tell you that. It is 50%. No question about it. Yeah, there it is. Right at the 50% level right here. And I don't, well, let's, well, this could be interesting. I'll tell you why. The low today, very important, looks like it was a 382 with a Gartley right here. It certainly was. Let's go down to a half hour chart so we can see it a little clear. There it is. Just bolt up right there and we'll be able to see it. There's your low right here. We're going to look for that 382. There's your A, B, C, D. And there's your, ooh. Well, it's had a pretty good run here a little bit. Anyway, that's uh, very interesting here because we've gone from uh, – we've, we've rallied a lot today. And so that was right off of that 382. There it was. Good old 382 looking at you. Boy, that was a beauty. We had a nice one in the euro, but that's uh, that's neither here nor there. But we'll take a look at the euro because we had that one pretty much picked in our sights here. Yeah, this will be an easy one to look at here. Hold on one second. And we were looking at this on the hourly chart for the trade that came out. And there again, there was your 382 right here. Now, this was the 382 off of the whole thing right here, okay? That was our first buy right down in here. Second buy would have been right here, 382 of this range of the day. So that's what we're paying attention to here today. We've almost got this place wrapped up. Whew. This old cowboy is heading for the woodshed. I'm getting tired. <laughs>
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look at heating oil. As you can see here, this is a long-term daily chart. Multiple ABCD patterns coming in here around the 236. We're trading at 244 right now. We also have one other that I just saw and missed. Because you make a lower low here, that means that you also have another ABCD coming in at the same level down in here. So that's going to be telling us that right around, we got two of them right here, 240, 239. So we're four cents away. So watch this area really, really closely. Now, devil's advocate, okay? Now, we're looking at this on the daily, so what we have to do is we gotta clean all this out and show the smaller ABCD patterns that are here because there are a couple of really small ones. See that ABCD that's right at the 382 off of this high right here? You'll see it's spot right on. There it is, right there at 382378 or whatever it is right there. Yeah, and so that tells us we could get as low as this, but my guess is you got another one right here. So looks like 339, well, we could get the 333. The big ones say we're going to get the 339. That's just the right here. These little ones say, well, be careful because we might go below it. So if we get below, you know, the three uh, – 239 level that tells us you're going to drop another six bucks but on the longer term daily this bigger longer term daily which is that's the controlling that's the 
as they say it, oh, Eli Lilly, the big daddy rabbit. Oh, shut the front door. There's your A leg right here. Okay, your B leg is right there because it's smaller than the other. Uh, they're about the same. Don't make any difference. So your A, B leg, C, D leg is going to take you 239. That's where you play the game right there. 239. Let's just forget this. You'll see have a little three drive there too, folks. 239 in heating oil coming up. Live every day. Attitude of gratitude. We'll see you Monday, folks. May God bless.